Now, there's a better way to identify and classify products. The United Nations Development Program and Dun & Bradstreet have merged their existing identification codes into a single open classification system known as the UNSPSC. This new system classifies all products and services used around the world. The UNSPSC helps companies to consistently classify products and services that they buy and sell. This universal code will help encourage growth and electronic commerce throughout the world. With the introduction of the UNSPSC, business people can more efficiently manage the procurement process, and companies, both large and small, can compete globally. Here is how the UNSPSC code works. It is a hierarchical classification with five levels. Each level supplies greater detail. Levels are given a two-character numerical value. The first is the segment level. A segment is the logical aggregation of families for analytical purposes. Office equipment, accessories, and supplies is an example of the segment level of the code's hierarchy. The code's second level is family, which is a commonly recognized group of interrelated commodity categories. Office supplies would be found at this level. Ink and lead refills would fall into the class level. These are a group of commodities sharing a common use or function. The commodity level would include pen refills. A commodity is part of a group of substitutable products or services. The UNSPSC can also be extended to the business function level, which is the function performed by the organization in support of the commodity. This can help indicate relationships to the supplier, such as rental or lease, maintenance or repair, manufacturer, wholesale or retail. So whether a purchasing or financial executive is looking at a broad category such as office equipment or at a more detailed level such as pen refills, the UNSPSC provides a system for analyzing total spending at whatever level is necessary. It can help answer the critical question, what exactly am I buying? How do you actually know what you're buying? Historically, I know that SAS Institute has been looking at SIC codes or knowing that in different um, factions of the industry, we spend money with a retail company, but we don't really know what we spend with those retail companies. And this is where incorporating the new UN SPSC code is giving us a common way to look at our commodities and, and be able to categorize them so we can make some wise decisions. Just to expand a little bit about the UNSPSC code, because I will be showing you an application that takes advantage of this new code. It's a hierarchical code, but what the value that has brought our customers is that it gives you a way to get your hands around a lot of information, start at a very high level, and be able to drill down to any level of detail that you want so you actually know what kind of things that you're purchasing. There are also many benefits to using the UNSPSC code combined with a universal business identifier such as the DNB Duns number. As shown in this graphic, the UNSPSC code combined with the company's data and integrated with information such as DNB data can help a company quickly determine where it might be able to reduce its total number of suppliers. In addition, the code can be used to find out where there might be an opportunity to increase buying power with a limited number of preferred suppliers. The UNSPSC is also changing the world of electronic commerce. One of the key shortcomings of finding products via the Internet is the variety of ways in which products can be described. The UNSPSC provides a global standard for conducting searches, regardless of variations in product description and language barriers. As the world's leading provider of business-to-business -business credit, purchasing and marketing information, and receivable management services, Dun & Bradstreet is a premier assigner of the UNSPSC. With more than 150 years of service to the business community, DNB can put the code to work for businesses today. For more information on the UNSPSC, visit these websites at either unspsc.org or dnb.com slash UNSPSC slash